This is the cold and the hot feed into the bathroom. We will imagine that this is our airing cupboard. This is the mains feed that comes up from behind the kitchen sink, which is mains fed. It rises up through the house and into the loft space where it feeds the feed and expansion tank. The next pipe along is the cylinder feed from the main storage tank. This pipe fills the cylinder with water, which gets heated, and the cylinder then pushes hot water out through the top. The next pipe along is the cold water feed. This comes directly from the main feed in the loft and is fitted with a 22 mm gate valve. It then follows straight down underneath the cylinder and straight into the bathroom. This is the hot feed. The top half of this pipe is the vent pipe, which moves up into the loft space and over the main storage tank. From this point onward is the hot water pipe, running down underneath the cylinder and into the bathroom. This small pipe is the feed and expansion pipe, which comes from the feed and expansion tank. There are no valves on this pipe at all. It must lead straight down from the tank, through the system, filling up the coil, the radiators and the boiler. This is the vent pipe from the primary system. It vents into the F and E tank. This pipe running down here is the primary flow from the boiler. This component is called an air eliminator. Water from the main flow and the boiler flows into the eliminator and the change in velocity allows the water to agitate, releasing air through the vent pipe. Water then flows down the eliminator into the pump system. It then runs through the pump and into this component, which is called a three-port mid-position valve. 